Hello everyone. So today I'm coming to you with a tutorial on a twist and curl. This is a great style for transitioners. So we're going to start by washing our dirty dry hair using a great product called Kinky Tresses. If you haven't heard about it, you better ask somebody. I'm going to shampoo with the moisturizing shampoo, which cleans very well. And then I'm going to use the Avocado Infusion Restorative Conditioner. This is a deep conditioner that really adds great moisture back to the hair. I'm detangling my hair in sections and then you can go under the hooded dryer or let the product set for about 20 to 30 minutes. After you've thoroughly rinsed out the product, it's time to moisturize. I'm going to use the oil and then layer that with the leave-in conditioner. If you follow the lock method, feel free to use leave-in conditioner first and then follow it up with the oil. These two products together really do leave your hair super moisturized and really supple. And you can really feel a difference after you've applied these products to your wet hair. Just the way it feels is just pretty amazing. Then I'm going to pull my hair back into a ponytail because I want my hair to air dry in somewhat of a stretch state. Um, you know, when our hair starts to dry from being wet, it gets really shrunken. And if you have high shrinkage, this is a great way to eliminate some of that shrinkage before you go into your styling. So now I'm going to use the most amazing coconut mango hair butter ever. This product smells so yummy and look at that texture. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm going to apply this to my hair and then like always, I like to distribute my product through my hair using my Demon brush, but also it allows for me to thoroughly detangle my section so that when I go to twisting, I won't have any problem with tangles. And then of course the takedown is a little bit easier because there's no tangles. Don't forget to coil your ends really well and repeat this all over your entire head. Don't forget to add the butter and then detangle through. And then of course twist and coil your ends all over your head. Now when it comes to the flexi rods, I like to secure my ends upward. I just wrap it around making sure that the very end of my hair stays flat on the flexi rod and I twist over it. And when I get to the top, I just uh, bend the flexi rods over kind of like in a little circle. <laughs> and then I just repeat all over. You can go under the hooded dryer, which is what I did to really shorten your drying time. Or of course you can let these air dry overnight. After you've removed all your flexi rods, you want to gently separate your hair. I just kind of do like a coil at the end to keep that curl kind of in there. And then you want to make sure you fluff this hair out. You have to fluff, fluff, and fluff to the gods. Yes. The bigger, the better. And the more you fluff, it will get frizzier. So be cautious about that depending on what you're looking for. But you guys know I love volume. My hair is super soft. It is so fluffy. That mango butter gives me so much life. I highly recommend you check out kinkytresses.com to see their products and what they have to offer. Please do like this video. If you did, please leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye. Let me shine.